Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to a new video. My name is Prince Mason. Today, we are going to be retouching this beautiful portrait that I shot in my workshop in Toronto. Absolutely love this portrait, and I've been looking forward to retouching this portrait here on YouTube. Now, before we get into today's video, I want to tell you guys a little bit about my retouching actions. If you guys do not have my retouching essentials pack then you definitely definitely should get it there are 14 amazing actions that will help you retouch better and retouch faster i use them to retouch all my images and also check out my skin tone lots for light skin dark skin tones and natural skin tone lots and if you don't want to get any of that you know just want something free i have some freebies for you to go check out my digital store and you can get my free frequency separation action so yeah now without the way let's get straight into retouching this amazing photo now today the first trick i'm going to teach you guys is that recently though recently and this is not a part of my retouching essentials pack yet because i just you know started trying this out i've been using the median um instead of um gaussian blur and it's been it's been decent you know i've been liking the the results i'm getting from from it it just looks a, a lot more natural you know um for a portrait like this i'll use between 10 and 12 just uh you know get like uh, enough detail in my in my image so that's a preview button and um yeah uh, for me though it, it looks it looks decent um i still want to see a little bit of those um blemishes just a little bit and now i'm going to click ok um like i said this particular action is not available in my retouching essentials pack but you have you can get every other thing 14 amazing actions so definitely check that out okay so the first thing i want to do like i always do is just pick my clone stamp tool right here and make sure i am on my current layer and what i'm going to do is just take out these blemishes real quick just make sure i reduce the size of my brush to match the area that i'm working with and i'll just take out these blemishes real quick now uh i'll say shameless blog i have this retouching company right now called the retouching guru if you are you know interested in you know giving out most of your retouching work you are interested in contracting somebody to retouch for you maybe because you are a really busy photographer and um, you don't have a lot of time to retouch your work or maybe you are still learning retouching and you want your work to look next level then definitely check us out retouching guru on instagram and um, the email is going to be in the description below you can send us an email and we will get you a quote to retouch your work we are pretty affordable at the moment so definitely check us out okay great so that's a shameless plug for my retouching company and um, right now we're going to get back into removing the blemishes of our subject's face uh, okay great just going to take these out there take that out take these out take these out and these ones too now i know you know frequency operation gets a lot of bad rep but you know at the end of the day it just depends on how you use it that's what i always tell people you know it's not it's not really the technique you know at the end of the day it's the, it's the end result you know um your your clients will not be um i mean the normal clients not the ones that work in agencies and all that but your, your clients normally will not be on your next scene hey you know yeah i have to use micro dodge and burn for my image but it's, it's always good to learn it and we're going to use a little bit of that a little bit of dodge and burn in this in this image to micro dodge and burn global dodge and burn we're going to use that okay great so now we are now we are good i mean for now we are good and um what i'm going to do is i'm just going to zoom in here you can see this place just does not look even so i'm just going to even that space out you can see that from a mile away maybe just take out this line here uh and this on the nose i mean you, you yeah, when it comes to blemishes you just never stop removing blemishes you just continue going okay great so i'm going to zoom in and um let's see our work let's see our before oh sorry <laughs> let's see our before and our after before and after we're taking out you know if you're blemishes i can see this tray here yeah let me see if that's going to go out or oh, luckily for us it did go out uh even though i made that place look wonky but it's fine what about these ones here uh typically i'll, I'll probably use the what's the name of this tool for that um spot healing brush for that that is going to be my tool of choice for that but for now we are good we are looking great at the at the moment okay great now 
one thing that i started doing too recently is when i want to do my frequency separation i always turn off my high layer now right i want to use my mixer brush tool and um, another thing you can do is create a curves adjustment layer and also increase the contrast of your image now when you do that when you increase the the contrast of your image you can see the visible difference between the the highlights and the shadows you know you can see where your your the transition between the highlights and the shadows you can really see that you know is it that you're using this particular technique or you are using the um what i call that hold on the invert check layer but for this this is going to work because this is something that you can just do and um let's pick the mixer brush tool now go to our little layer and um, what i'm going to do right now is just blend this in and this way you can really see where you have your transition between your highlights and your shadows and you know you can see exactly what you're doing how smooth it's it's looking you know i really like doing this it's just uh it's just a way to help you um get everything out of the way faster right okay great now with my mixer brush tool one thing i don't do is try to fix every single thing you know like because at the end of the day i don't want to move the colors around too much you know i would rather go back into my micro dodge and burn and just do a little bit of um i just do a little bit of um, what do you call it exposure adjustment you know uh, and i'll show you what i mean by that if that just sounds like a scary word especially for people that are just starting out okay great um we are doing good so i'm going to turn off my curves and i'm going to turn this back on and i'm just going to zoom back out so i can show you guys what this looks like so this right now is that before and this after before after you can see i haven't done like a lot to it you know it's just it's just decent um now i can come here just fix the transition between those right there and um here too you know it just the the transitions just look a, a little softer than before you know that's that's one thing that i was trying to achieve so that's how before and now after so let me zoom in and show you guys so this is our before and this is our after pretty simple um one thing we want to do is work right here on the hand so we're just going to take that out because you know we can see some redness there right um you don't want your image to look fake that's one other thing that you have to put at the back of your mind so just fix a little bit of this for an image like this when it comes to the skin the skin is like the easiest thing to to work on you know that's that's not where like the work would would be the work would be how do i make this image stand out because this image looks good right but how do i make this image stand out you know that's that's one thing that you have to put at the back of your mind when you are working on an image like this because everything kind of like just blends in you know like a skin everything just looks really beige you know so you have to figure out how to make the image stand out we're going to get to that we're going to get to that in a bit okay great so what i want to do right now is just close this i can just take out this my curves just my layer because at the end of the day i don't need that anymore right and i'm going to run my complete dodge and burn action now what this does is that it will create like the invert check layer for me and apart from creating my invert check layer and that thing that it would do is that it will create like my micro dodge and burn layers and my global dodge and burn layers right i don't think i'll need two micro dodge and burn layers so i'm just going to take that out and now what i'm going to do is pick a brush tool set my flow all the way to one percent make sure that my foreground color is white um, make sure that my hardness is set to zero that's really soft right and right here what i can see right now is you know just some i mean the image looks nice and smooth but there are just some places in the image that do not look nice that you know it would have been easy to fix with the mixer brush but i don't do that you know i just want to even out some of this um areas right here right so just take some of those out let me show you what that looks like that's the before and that's the after you know some areas like here you know some areas here yeah i i, I don't know how much of a difference it would make but typically i do this when i feel like you know i don't want to go in with my mixer brush tool too much i don't want to damage the image too much let me just put it that way you know i just don't want to change how my subject is looking too much right so you guys can see 
the slight difference it makes there in these two places right here and right here so that's the before that's the after before after you know it's a it's quite a slight difference and it's not something that i would say you should absolutely waste your time on you know if if it's not if it's not absolutely necessary but this is just me and uh um i would say the ocd i have for researching right okay great so just a little bit of this and a little bit of that and let's just see what that looks like okay and i feel like that looks better you know it just looks uh, a little better you know uh <laughs> like i said it's just my ocd when it comes to retouching right okay great so the next thing i want to do is a little bit of global dodge and burn right so what i always do my global dodge and burn sometimes is just turn off everything let's see where the original highlights and shadows are if for some reason i have messed up with my frequency separation or my micro dodge and burn so you can see it's right here so what i'm going to do is take my flow all the way a little bit up three or four would be fine but typically i use three and i'm just going to dodge my highlights remember with the micro dodge and burn you are dodging your shadows and burning your highlights but this is the opposite so all we're going to do is burn our shadows and dodge our highlights i hope that was not confusing okay great okay so now i'm going to zoom out because i'm I like working on my micro dodge and burn or sorry my global dodge and burn from from a distance right uh maybe a little bit of this a little bit of this right there yeah just make the thing stand out uh, i can see somewhere around here you can see that get the lips um go in there get some of these highlights here popping you know okay great uh now we're going to do a little bit of burning too put our image right here in the middle maybe just zoom in just a little bit and then what we're going to do is just burn these areas right here okay great burn these areas right here you know i mean dodging and burning just helps your image look uh it, it just looks a little bit sharper and it looks like it's standing out a lot more you know than um, when you don't um dodge and burn that's global dodge and burn um okay great so let's turn this on let's see what that looks like let's see how before let's see how after before after you can see our image is standing out just uh, a tad bit more than before so earlier on i was talking about how to make your image stand out right and what i want to do in this situation is make sure that our hair is like really really contrasty so what i'm going to do is create another global dodge and burn um layer by running my action and now i am going to take my flow all the way up maybe to like nine percent right and what i want to do is dodge anywhere that is bright on her hair just like this just dodge these areas can see i'm not being extremely careful with it just just going a long way anything that i can see that is bright in any way yeah this will make your image stand out especially when they have like nice silky golden hair like this it will make your image stand out very very well right okay great and now what we're going to do is burn again there just burn those anywhere that is dark we'll burn those okay Let's zoom out see what that looks like let's see how before after you can see how this image is standing out it looks absolutely gorgeous when the hair is like that next thing i want to do is just work on her eyes and um, we're going to eyes and teeth whitening action now this is free you can go download this right now it's free it's right there link in the description just go get it right now free okay now we're just going to whiten these eyes make them look really nice 
I mean, you can gain and do more with the eyes if you want, but you know, just like to brighten the white parts of the eye. And um, okay, you can see the eyes are too white right now. So what we're going to do is just reduce the overall opacity and somewhere around here, yes, that looks pretty good and that looks that nice. Okay, great. So let's see what our before look like, our before and our after, before, after. You can see our image standing out and our image is looking absolutely beautiful. Um, one thing I'm going to do again is just come to my levels adjustments. Uh, I don't mind like as long as our face is not okay. So somewhere around here it just works and just add some contrast to the image. Somewhere around here and let's see what our before and after looks like. Before, after, before after that looks absolutely gorgeous let me zoom in a little bit show you guys what that looks like before after before after okay now the last thing i want to do is color grade this image so what i'm going to do is just go to my color lookup and i'm just going to pick from one of my lots um for this image i use the natural skin alone lot three absolutely love how it looks and then what i'm going to do is just reduce the opacity for this you can see it's making like the back a lot wider while it's maintaining like her skin tone and i absolutely love how that looks that looks absolutely um that looks gorgeous okay great so the next thing i want to do after this is create a stamp visible layer so i'm going to take out those my invert check layers command option shift and e so that's control alternate shift and e on pc and i'm going to go to my liquify just going to wait for that to load up and once this has loaded up what i'm going to do is just fix a tiny few things you know like i mean i don't care if this is affected up here but you know like it won't really matter so just bring the hair up here down a little bit you know the ones here just spread them out you know just a little bit just spread the hair down here out a little bit uh, let's see how that looks before after okay that looks good still want this to come in just uh just a wee bit you know don't want the head to look like it's just huge and, and puffy up top you know and then what we're going to do is the face width we're going to always reduce the face width because of our lenses and yes that's about it so let's see our before and our after before you know the hair just looked like it was all the way up after i prefer how this looks looks better um Okay, this is just a personal preference though, you know, it really depends on you and what you're working with. I feel like the head looks uh, just a tiny bit weird, so I'm going to go back to my liquify and maybe just pull this up just a, a, a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. Let's see, before, uh, okay, just a bit, alright, before how that looks now before after okay before after yes absolutely prefer how that looks now so what i'm going to do is save this into capture one and basically this is our retouched image um we can do a few other things in capture one like um you know just mess around with color wheels and just you know try to get the image to look a lot bronzy but it just depends some people do not like that look some people like it so i'm just going to leave this image here as it is and yeah, like I said, if you are interested in retouching like this and following step by step, then definitely check out my Retouching Essentials pack. It has 14 amazing actions. And also check out my skin tone lots for light skin tones, dark skin tones, and also natural skin tones. They will give, that will give you like a, a, a selection of um, lots that you can use to color grade your, your images. It doesn't matter if it's outdoors, indoors. And I also have my creative color lots and my tropical color lots that you can use for the outdoor images. So yeah that's about it hope you guys enjoyed today's video really appreciate you guys watching my videos thank you so much and have an amazing day guys peace out